Hello everybody. First of all, I'd like to introduce myself. This is Miss Iman, the English teacher for grade three. And as usual, we uh, I will talk about all the materials that we covered this week. And this week we had a new uh, story, new selection, which is called A Tree is Growing. So first of all, we're going to start with the new targeted vocabulary. Let's start. The first word is passages. Passages. Passages mean... narrow path or channels. Let's move to the next word, which is spines. Spines. Spines mean sharp point growth, as you can see here in the picture. The next word is the word tropical. Tropical. Tropical means having to do with the warm areas of Earth near the equator. And the word store, store, store means to put away for later use. The word throughout, throughout, throughout means all the way through. And the word absorb, absorb, absorb means to take in or soak up. And the word dissolve, dissolve, dissolve means to seem to disappear when mixed up liquid. And the word clumps, clumps, clumps mean group, groups or bunches of things, especially plants or dirt. And the word coverings, coverings, coverings means the outsides of things usually serving as protection. And the last word is the word pollen. Pollen. Pollen means tiny yellow grains made by flowering plants. And I'm already done with giving the definitions for the new targeted vocabulary. And this is a worksheet about the vocabulary and, uh, and their definitions. Uh, write the vocabulary word that matches the definition. A word means take in or soak up, observe. The second one is word means to change from a solid to a liquid, so it will be the word to solve. Question number three, a word means tiny grains that fertilize female plants to produce seeds, the word pollen. And question number four, word means from a typical, a typical of the tropics, the warm areas of the earth near the equator. It will be the word tropic, uh, the word uh, tropical. Yes. Question number five, a word means in, to, or through every part of, throughout. Question number six, a word means thick cluster or group. The word clumps. Question number, number seven, a word means something that covers, it will be the word coverings. Question number eight, a word means put away for future use, it will be the word store. Question number nine, word means a narrow path or a channel, it will be the word passages. And the last one, a word means part of a plant or animal that sticks out with sharp pine, it will be the word spines. Uh, I'm done with answering some questions about the new targeted vocabulary. So it's, uh, it's the time now to ask and answer some questions about the story itself. A tree is growing, reading and comprehension. Let's start. I'm going to start with page 94 summary of the book. The author starts the story talking about a giant tree. Giant here me means very huge. And it keeps growing and changing. However, it's very huge. The tree changed in the spring, which is growing as you watch the buds on the branches unfold into leaves. Let's move to the next. Uh, 
and this is the summary of the page 96. Here he's talking about the leaves. Here the leaves can be skinny needles like these leaves or a big heart shapes like this kind of leaves. Whatever the shape or the size of the leaf, it makes the food for the tree. So the leaf the leaves are so important for the trees because they make their food. Some leaves may make a kind of sugar and the tree use the sugar as food. Okay, so let's ask this question. What is the meaning of the word sap? Sap means when the sugary water made in the leaves mixed with other trees juices called sap. Okay, next. The food in the sap here carried through the tree. The strong smells of some saps can keep insects, like what you see here in the picture, from eating the trees they live on. What does the tree need to grow? It needs sunlight, here the sunlight, air, soil, and the last one is the most important thing, which is the water. Okay, next. Water travels through passages, the trunk and branches up to the leaves. And here is the picture for the trunk. Sugary sap made in the leaves travel down other passages in the trunk, taking food to different parts of the tree. Next, here is an important question, which is, what is the function of the root? This is the root. They absorb water, this is the water, and carry it into the tree. Trees need minerals to grow. So what is the meaning of minerals? Minerals like salt and other minerals dissolve in the water. Mushrooms, here is the picture of the mushroom, growing among the roots of tree can help get minerals. So the important, the advantage of having mushrooms, help, they help the tree to get minerals. Next. What is the bark? This is a very important question. What is the bark? This is a question, uh, this is, uh, sorry, a picture for a bark. Bark, this is the skin of the tree. The outer layer of the bark protects the tree. So, the, the bark is very important for the trees because they protect the trees, the barks. When the tree is young, the bark is smooth. So, as long as the tree is young, the bark is here, like what you see here, is smooth. But when the tree grows older, the bark becomes rough. So you can here see the difference between both. Here is soft and here is, is smooth and soft and here is rough and sharp. So this is this bark for a young tree, but this one for old one. And here is an important question also. What is the meaning of cambium? Cambium means the layer underneath the growing bark. So the layer underneath the growing bark is called cambium. Okay, next. Trees grow bigger and they grow taller. As the trees grow, the lower branches may fall. Off. Here is a question about pollen. What is pollen? When birds, insects are attracted to flowers and drink their sweet juices, when they brush the flowers, the animals get a powder called pollen. You can see here, this is a pea, it absorbs the sweet juice of the flower. Next. Why do some trees look dead in the winter? What is really happening to these trees? 
Trees rest in the cold of the winter and their branches are bare. They may look as if they are dead. But look closely, you can see small buds that will become leaves and flowers in the spring. So someone will ask, what is the genre of the story? This story is informational text. This is another question. Why is, uh, is it difficult to tell the age of a tree in a tropical rainforest? In the tropical rainforest tree, the cambium grows all year and there are no rings. So as long as there are no rings, it's difficult to tell the age of a tree in a tropical rainforest. Here, what are some differences among types of trees? Different kinds of trees make seeds with different coverings. Next, think pear chair. This question, you are the one who will answer it as per the information which I gave you at first. First question, describe why sap is, is important to trees. Question number two, what are the things a tree needs to grow? And the last question is, what is the function of roots of a tree? After we are done answering some questions about the story a tree is growing, it's the time to answer some questions about articles. The articles are A and, and the. The article A comes with a singular noun. It starts with consonant alphabet. An comes with a singular noun, starts with a vowel alphabet about letter and the comes with singular and plural nouns and can come in front of any word starts with any alphabet not necessarily specific ones so let's start let's start to answer some questions about it here the word elephant we need to choose the correct article for every and each word elephant started with e and the E is a vowel, so we can write an, an alphabet. Okay, bicycle. Bicycle starts with the, with the letter B, so B is a consonant, so it will be a bicycle. Banana starts with B, it will be a banana. N is consonant, it will be a. Dictionary, A. Dictionary, yo yo, A. Monkeys is plural, it will be the. Flower, singular, with F consonant, it will be A. Eraser, E is a vowel, so it will be and eraser shoulders plural it will be the okay scissors the shoes the T-shirt, A, a T-shirt, apple, an, piano, A, octopus, an, oranges, the, alligator, an. Chair, A. Desk, A. Poster, A. Table, A. Glue stick, A. School, A. 
and blueberry it will be a blueberry and here you can find it here the uh, the rule singular plus consonant it will be a singular plus vowel and plural it will be the so it was the end of our video hope all of you will enjoy it and get and you can get advantage out, out of watching and listening the video. Thank you.